This is Good Morning Mumbai with Rishi K. Vikram Bhatt is here. I'm always happy to see him. Uh, wonderful to see you, Vikram. How's everything going? Good, 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 Rishi. Thank you for having me here. So I believe it's now officially seven days yeah. since the trailer went out. Subsequently, you've released videos for what two, three, two songs or three uh, songs now? Three songs. Now. Three songs. Yeah. And it's really gone berserk. Uh, how many yeah. views do you have at so last count? Yeah. This uh, music reminds me of what happened with Raz actually. It's not happened to me for a long time. So we've got all uh, all of our videos are trending on YouTube. Some three in the music section and one in the general section. So we've had something like in the last seven days since we launched, we've had something like 25 million views wow. across YouTube and 10 million on streaming platforms. So. I think Z Music is ecstatic, and we are ecstatic with this response. And in that aspect, you know, you can't even compare it to Raz in terms of the, of the kind of musicians, because this is all. This one has all the new age guys. I mean, there's a yeah, Yasser yeah. Desai, yeah. there's a Jyotika Tangri. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I knew we had good music, but um, I didn't know we would take off like this. This is phenomenal. Sanjeev Darshan, Orko, and really the, the whole concept of having an entire album done by one set of music directors now is going yeah. out through the door. It is. You know, you can't get a, kind of get a potpourri of music directors to come in and, and do their stuff. Yeah, that's true. Uh, you believe in that or are you still old school and you feel that, you know, you'd like the same set of composers to, to do as many tracks as they can on an album? See, I think, um, you know, as you and I were talking before this interview, synergies are the way to go. Um, not everyone has got seven brilliant songs with them. There was a time, like I was talking about Raz, where you know Nadeem Shravan could belt out all seven fantastic numbers. Correct. Um, look, we are generally open to even two songs from one music director, all from one music from one music director, as be the case. But it really depends, you know, on. Um, on whether we are getting what we need or not. Another thing that has happened of late is that, you know, music directors have also got a style. Correct. Some are very good with romantic ballads. Some are very good with, you know, those Punjabi clum dumbers. And some are very good. So, you know, everyone's got their style. Uh, and it's better to pick according to what you want. Yeah. Right. Well said. And, you know, you're returning to a, a zone which you're obviously very successful at. If you look at the track record of, of Creature and then Haunted in 1920 and 21, and of course, Raz, um, it, it's not all that spooky to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's you not. Know, uh, uh, you know, uh, friends of mine who, who've directed stuff like this turn around and say it's, it's almost comical sometimes when you're on yeah. a set yeah. and you're trying to film a, a, a horror film. But then I also heard Sanya, uh, your Sanaya, Sanaya your yeah. heroine, say that you kind of play along and you do the sound effects yourself yeah, and, have, you know, make them get into the mood of it. I have mastered <laughs> all of them. And uh, one day you should just call me to do just sound effects for horror and you'd be amazed at what I can do on the mic. So I do a lot of that. Uh, you won't believe that till the coming of age of electronics, I used to make all the sounds of all these spooks myself on wow. the mic. Wow. 1920, all the sounds are done by me. Uh, as a matter of fact, I remember when I was rehearsing for it, my uh, chauffeur thought I've lost the plot because I used to sit on the back seat and uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I used to say, Kis pagal ke liye nokri kar uh, but now you have specialized sound effects. And so, uh, but you, but you still do that when you're filming, right? You know, because those those are stuff things that you have to do on the on the post. Yeah. But while filming, if you have to give cues, let's say to Sanaa in this case or Shivam in this case, yeah, you have yeah to do absolutely. That, you know? Because you know what, when you're shooting, there is nothing there. I mean, it's all going to come later with special yeah. effects. So there's just a green cloth, and the actors don't know what's in my mind, however hard they try. So I kind of uh, make these sounds and. Um, 
and I don't tell them when I'm going to do it. And every, in every take, I try to make the sound at a different time. So you can see the anticipation on their faces that I'll be coming to this sound. And that gives me a good shot, actually. That's wonderful. So I believe this is based on an urban legend, which actually actually happened in the UK. Yes. Uh, and the, I allow you to tell the story. A guy who was accused of murdering his wife, and what does he say to the court? So this actually happened in the US. Uh, and so we've kind of... Um, brought two stories two true stories together what happened is that you know there's a very famous couple called uh, Ed, Ed and Lauren Warren as everybody knows of them they are the couple of Conjuring okay got it yeah. you know, of no. Annabelle they are a very very famous real life couple so what happened is that they were called to do an exorcism on an 11 year old boy who was supposedly possessed now they say that in this exorcism, there was a man called Johnson, Arne Johnson, who was also present. And in the heat of things, he started shouting and he started telling uh, the demon that was within this kid that, come into me, leave the kid alone, come into me. And everyone present could swear that something happened and it almost felt like something came into this man. A few months later, he killed his landlord. And his defense in court was that it's not him, but the possession in him. And there were a lot of people who actually gave witness to this fact that we saw him getting possessed. But of course, the judge threw it out. But it got us thinking that if something like this were to happen, if someone is alone at home and there's a murder, it's obvious that uh, you, know, you would be framed for it and nobody right. else. And if that should happen, how would you prove yourself innocent in court? So this whole legal system versus supernatural really got me going. So are you a rationalist in real life? Do you believe in uh, the power of spirits? Have you called spirits ever? Or you know, is, is it just cinema for you? So because I'm rational, I believe in spirits. And that might sound like a strange statement. But you know, for all of us who believe that there is a soul, what is a spirit but uh, a soul? without the body. I am very spiritual and spiritually they say that uh, a spirit, what is the difference between a spirit and a soul? A soul has no identity of the person. A soul has no beginning or an end. But a spirit is a soul that is refusing to give away the identity of the person it has just incarnated as. So you still are holding on to it. You are still holding on to anger. You're still holding on to revenge. You're still holding on to something. And that is why you are not recognizing that your soul is much more than this earthly identity. I have learned transcendental meditation. I have learned how to talk to astrals, spirit guides. So, yeah, I've been through this whole gamut. Interesting. And it's it's crazy because it, at one end, you're, you know, you talk about this and the science of it. At the other end, you know, you're going into the future, which is much before all these OTT platforms came on, you were already working on your OTT platform yeah. and really churning out stuff. And I'm sure putting a lot of your own hard-earned money into it. Yeah, it's all mine. <laughs> it's all it's all yours. So you obviously believe in the viability of building a large bank uh, of, of, uh, of OTT uh, programs and, you know, films. See, that's what I think the future is. The future is the one who has the most amount of content to license out will be a rich man in coming times. Because, see, everyone who we know, ev everyone is starting an OTT. There aren't as many makers. You know, this OTT is a, is a hungry beast that needs to be fed again and again. And you will need good content creators. You will need them. They are not there right now. So, you know, that's the that's the thing. So, uh, I mean, I of course don't have pockets deep enough to make my own uh, to have my own licensed content. But I'm sure there are people out there who are thinking about it right now. And that's where you first worked with uh, Sanaya. Is that it? Yeah. Or did you know her from before? 
Yeah. Sana and I, of course, I mean, I had met her once or twice, yeah. but socially. Mm. But we worked on a web series together, and that's how we got to know each other. Mm. It's true. And it's an interesting character because, you know, she plays this lawyer who's trying to defend the guy who's been accused of murdering his wife. That's true. And then she herself falls for him. I mean, from whatever little I can make in the trailer. And yeah. she goes through that whole web of, of deceit and intrigue and things like that. Yeah. Mm. So, the, your casting of her and Shivam. You're no stranger to have worked with stars like Amir Khan. Yeah. But you seem to be enjoying working with newcomers, semi-newcomers, or people who are not that massive. Uh, yeah, I like to work with newcomers because I want to make a film when I want to make it. I also don't think that you become gold by touch and go. You know, ultimately, you have to be able to be a filmmaker who can make a film whenever he wants to make it. Um, not that I'm averse to working with stars. Uh, stars have huge power. I can never get an opening like a big star cast film does get. But I don't think horror uh, per se is a genre that many stars would uh, like to come out and do because they know it works without them as well. You mentioned The Conjuring. Would it, would it be one of your favorites? What's some great horror films that you've watched and gone, wow, you know, this is amazing? I mean, there are lots of films like that that I've seen and gone, wow. Um, Blair Witch Project is one of my favorites because it's so simply shot and at the same time they don't show anything but they just spook you so badly paranormal activity again so easily shot uh, but my favorite horror film is my own film and it's a little pompous to say that but I think 1920 was a film that really came out well so Shivam I mean very little is known about him uh, how did you cast him uh, what does he bring to the table what can we expect Shivam is a uh, he is a newcomer, um, and uh, he's an enthusiastic boy. He's a he's, he's a good actor. Of course, he's got a lot to learn, and and I'm sure he will. But I see him as someone who's got a good future. So, in essence, the plot is about the murder of this guy's wife. Yeah. But you know, it, 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 does it also have something to do with a haunted house? No, so it's basically about a haunting in Shivam's house. And how? Because of this haunting, his wife gets killed. Mm -hmm. And he gets arrested. And he's a young politician in the UK. And no one believes him that he didn't kill his wife. And so he tells this lawyer, he says, uh, I haven't murdered. It's, it's a spirit that has killed. And at first she just takes her bag and walks out. She says, you know, you're wasting my time. Uh, but then slowly she begins to realize that this man is telling the truth. But the whole dilemma that, or, or let's say the whole problem of proving supernatural in court, how does one do it? Yeah. Yeah, that's quite interesting. So uh, he, here she is and then uh, it, it looks as though he cheats on her. Yeah. <laughs> Does he again say, you know, lighter vape, that that was also the spirits that caused him to cheat? That's what she says <laughs> in the dialogue. Yeah. She says, oh, are you going to say that this yeah. is not you and again a spirit? <laughs> Please. She says, yeah. you know, he says, no, I'm not saying that. She says, thank fucking God. Sorry. Yeah. Beep. Uh, but she says, thank God that at least you have that much sense to say that this is you and not someone else. And any uh, haunted castles or houses that you shot in in the UK? Because the UK is full of it. I imagine you're, you're filmed in London, no? Because uh, I see true. the Big Ben in the background and things yeah, like that. Yeah. So any any of those spooky places that you filmed in? Yeah, I mean, we filmed in um, we filmed in one place which uh, was haunted. So there was this uh, old uh, school that we had turned into an asylum. And it, it was in a debilitated condition, completely deplorable. And what we did not know was that one of the actors, the English actors we were working with, was a medium. Wow. And he could see spirits. So he told me, he said, uh, I can see a woman on that staircase. She's looking at us. So I turned around and I said, which woman? There is no woman. It's, it's, she's a spirit, he said. She's seeing us. I said, really? It was quite spooky. So I said, really? So he says, yeah, her name is Rebecca with two Ks and an A and an H like the Jewish kind of Rebecca. 
so then i asked my uh, production guys and my location manager to find out so they sourced the net and there was nothing like tribeca later the next day we found out from an old uh, person who was taking care of the property that 100 years back there was a woman called rebecca who was a matron and who did stay in that building that was pretty spooky pretty amazing <laughs> <laughs> i'd be damned so yeah. what next now i mean are you going to are you are you working on your next spook fest already or are you going to take a break and do something radically different next is a thriller mm -hmm. that i've already started filming for it's got ina khan in it it's a film called uh, hacked that's about that's about how our all our lives are on the internet today and what should happen if someone decides to have access to that and and completely ruin you wow and this is uh, vashu bagnani is your producer this time yeah. around yeah. vashu ji brings that you know the sindhi kachi acumen to the table <laughs> <laughs> i was in working with him <laughs> so uh, he's been great vashu ji and uh, you know he's the kind of person who once he has heard the script he doesn't really interfere with your casting or where you're shooting or what you're doing he is uh, he's pretty cool he, you know he gives you complete creative license and as a matter of fact he is the kind of producer you have to force to see the film आपने बना ली ना अच्छी होगी आपने बना ली ना अच्छी होगी नहीं 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 ऐसा मत करिए आप प्लीज देखिए सो बट इट वाज इट वाज ग्रेट ही हैज गिवन अस अ ग्रेट अपॉर्चुनिटी हियर लवली विक्रम बट थैंक यू वेरी मच ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर दिस वन एंड हैक्ड इन द फ्यूचर थैंक यू फॉर टॉकिंग टू रेडियो थैंक यू थैंक यू